So you just found out that the person whom you encountered at the tussle for toilet paper has COVID-19? Or the local hot dog and broccoli emporium that you ate at recently? Or that, dress up like a marmot, party that you probably shouldn't have attended? And now the wait is on for you. You are wondering whether you got infected and if so when you might become contagious and develop symptoms. And when can you be sure that you're in the clear? It's a common set of questions because the COVID-19 coronavirus has been spreading so widely in the US, and who hasn't been to a, dress up like a marmot, event recently? The answers will tell you how long you should remain concerned that you may have been infected and will help you better understand the basis of the recommended quarantine durations. When it comes to developing symptoms of COVID-19, the key durations to remember are 2 days, 5 to 6 days, and 14 days. Why? Well, keep in mind four key periods, the latent period and the incubation period both start at the same time, when the virus first enters into the cells of your body. You aren't immediately infectious once the, the COVID-19 coronavirus gets inside your body. It has to get into your respiratory tract cells, hijack your cells machinery, and use your cells like cheap motel rooms to reproduce. Once enough new viruses are produced and released, you start shedding the virus and are contagious. Symptoms, if you end up having them, won't come until later when your immune system says, WTH, and starts mobilizing against the virus. Symptoms also may result from damage caused by the virus, but that doesn't come until later either. This is why typically the latent period is shorter than the incubation period, usually at least 24 to 48 hours shorter. You are shedding virus at least 1 to 2 days before you develop symptoms, again if you even end up developing symptoms. In fact, you may be most contagious during the period between the end of the latent period and the end of the incubation period. To remember that the latent period ends before the incubation period, think, L, before, I, in, lifeguards, as in, lifeguards on Baywatch. It can challenging to figure out the typical length of the latent period. After all, asking a person, when did you first start shedding virus, can be like asking, when did you first start having noticeable body odor, or, when did you start becoming annoying? The person most likely wouldn't be able to tell you that, it was 12.35 pm when virus started coming out of my mouth like from a sprinkler, or, it was 12.35 pm when sewage and I became a lot less different. The only direct way to tell when a person becomes contagious is the test than person continuously, like every minute or so. Doing such a study would then require a whole lot of cotton swabs and a whole lot of discomfort.